Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video I'm going to be covering the Samurai Armor Mode of Iron Man. Now this is one of the configurations of Iron Man Armor Model 51, also known as Model Prime Armor, which made its first full appearance in Invincible Iron Man Volume 3 Issue Number 1 in December of 2015. And this Samurai Mode in particular made its first appearance in Invincible Iron Man Volume 3 Issue Number 4 in February of 2016. Naturally, this suit is owned by Anthony, aka Tony Stark, who without his armor stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighs 225 pounds, having blue eyes and black hair. Now this ingenious Model Prime armor was used to pretty much be an all-in-one type of suit. It's created using hexagonal scales that can reconfigure themselves into any form and color, using nanotech to achieve this down to the near molecular level. Therefore, it's a shape-shifting suit that can modify its characteristics to achieve a myriad of different results. While wearing this armor, Tony has created multiple high-level weapons, as well as completely adapting the suit to be in a stealth mode, a Hulkbuster type of mode, as well as what we'll be going over today, which is the sleek and reinforced Samurai mode. There are many other abilities that the Model Prime armor can do, but for the sake of this video, I'll just be diving into the unique Samurai configuration. This configuration was best suited for mobility and defense when going up against extremely powerful martial artists. Now, in a nutshell, what led up to its appearance is Iron Man doing some snooping and investigating, trying to figure out the intentions and information on the villainous Doctor Doom, and in particular, Madame Mask. During the course of this, he found himself in an empty building, surrounded by Biohack Ninja, which some call Techno Ninja. He quickly realizes how powerful they are when he's thrown out of the window onto the beach, then briefly switching his armor into stealth mode, which he thought would help. And despite his AI system named Friday telling him to retreat, he figured he'd have fun with a moonlight ninja fight beach party. But he quickly realizes that it wouldn't be that simple again when he's knocked over by one of his own repulsor blasts being deflected by a ninja sword. They then go at it, but he's still getting beaten, double sword slashes to the neck almost breaching his suit. This convinces Iron Man to shapeshift into a samurai-like suit that could give him extra protection and mobility, which quickly proves to be effective, giving Tony the ability to counter one of the ninja's attacks and take his sword from him. As they continue to fight, Iron Man decides to give himself some room, using a zero-point energy bubble blast to knock all of his opponents back. He then took a second to step back and test a theory, throwing one of the ninja into the water which caused his suit to short out which, as he suspected, caused all the other ninja to be affected as well. They were similar to the Mandroid armor, all of the suits being connected cybernetically, so one of them being knocked out caused all the rest of them to need a second to reconnect, and this is when he took them out one by one. And when the battle was over, Tony started interrogating one of the ninja who was still conscious and speaking Chinese. But before he could get any actionable intel, a failsafe within the suit activated, which electrocuted the ninja right there on the spot. At least on this occasion, Iron Man didn't get the information that he was looking for. Now, due to its power and ability, and its influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Samurai Armor Iron Man a rating of 7, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.